I was just shocked you just texted me like, we're buying wood for the roof race, right? Question mark? And I was like, okay. Next thing I knew, we're in the parking lot, loading up the wood. <laughs> I just think it's crazy. It's kind of very beautiful to realize that when we said that we wanted a challenge and signed off on doing this project that we really meant it, that we are outgrowing past versions of ourselves. This is multi-piece. I definitely just left all the screws in the gutter. Oh. So, just keep her level. Fuck me. We got three. Are we ready? It's a good, good, good question. You have to be excited. Are we ready to do this? No, but yeah. Okay, Chucky. We're in this together. Call me straight line McGee.
always in your hand Weld really doesn't want to cut. Well, that was easier. Okay, hey, you've only got one weld there. Um, let me try and hammer without. I think we're making progress. I think I saw, yeah. Three panels down, one to go.
all shoots up. No! That's a solid freaking height. Just like putting them up to get the sizes of like what we need. Because now we're gonna need to go in with like the ceiling and put like the ceilings on there and get it in. And you can't, you can't hold that. Yeah, Icing a cake. Should we bring like something to push it up? Huh? We're gonna need to hit it up. That's what I'm saying. I just can't believe that we were the same kids that three and a half years ago couldn't get themselves to take out the air conditioning unit in their bus because they were too afraid. And now we're here doing a roof raise out of all things. It's just a beautiful reminder that you can outgrow different parts of yourself, that you can grow your own limitations one of the hardest lessons that we had to learn and come to peace with was that we had sold ourselves short. That we had created in our own minds and in our own world limitations that didn't have to be there. Basically, these front panels were a little hard to get all the way straight, so there's a little bit of overhang, and we're just going around, and by we, I mean Ethan, going around, and we're just slicing them up and even evening them out. I thought you were going to say Ethaning them out. Think fast. Think fast. Final screw of the roof race. Wow. 
we were lying. It wasn't the last one. The real last screw. It's official. Backstory of this roof race. When we bought it, we didn't think Zach was going to be able to stand on it. So my non-negotiable, which is funny because I'm 5'2", but my non-negotiable was if we buy it, we have to do a roof race. When we got it, it was a shock that he could stand because the guy had just measured it wrong and we were honestly like an inch away of just saying an inch away that's funny <laughs> we were just gonna be okay with it we were like didn't want to spend the money we were scared of the process this minute hunch i asked zach to look into how much it would actually cost in the process and from there it took about 12 hours and we were buying wood and then it's taken like a little bit because of spread out work time but now Too tall. In your what? Five foot nine and a half. In the inch or the race is? Seven and a half inches. Do the math. It's a tall mohawk you can have now. <laughs> it's perfect timing because I was gonna start growing a mohawk, so life is good. <laughs> Basically, we spent $60 on the wood. It took three 2x12s at 16 feet in length. And we spent $329 on the aluminum sheet. So all in all, that is... Which we got locally, and they were able to cut the size, which was huge. It was just one 4x10 sheet of aluminum that they cut into five pieces which was the perfect height for exactly what we were doing the race for. So all in all, we were at, what is that? Three, 389. No, let's say 400 plus the box of screws. $400. $400 roof race. Whoop. Raise it. <laughs>